Hi there, MCP is at the moment everywhere and in this short tutorial I will show you how you can set up and use any MCP server out there locally with the help of small Asian. So let's get started. So if we have a look here on the documentation of small agents, we see here at this section of tools and dev here that recently was added the tool collection from ME MCP server. And we can use then here Klama or Smivery as a discovery service to find the right MCP server for our use cases. So I will not go into this video to explain you what MCP does or is because I will prepare another video for that and also there is also very good content at YouTube right now. So we use here Smivery for exploring and I will show you this at a later time in the video. But first now let's focus on this example here provided by the documentation. So in this case we have an agent and we want to connect it to this MCP server with the map PubMed MCP. So this is a database of biological information. And then we make a query, please find a remedy for a hangover. So this, with this MCP server, we get access to their biological database. So I've prepared the code here. And if we have a closer look, what happens here is we see this as studio server parameters. So here we describe how we can invoke the server locally. Therefore we use UVX as a startup command and then providing here the, the arcs. So this is the name of the server then. Um, and then also we are providing the environment variables, in this case, UV Python version 3.12. And then what we see from the tool collection, we have this function from MCP where we then pass in our server parameter conf configuration. So how we invoke this and then we get this tool collection that we can then use here in our code agent that we then simply provide into our tools array. And that's basically all we need to do to locally start up a server and then can consume it here from our client that is an agent. But before we actually can now run this, we first need to install the MCP dependency from the small agents library. So let's hit it with UV. I've already done that. And now we can run this agent here, agent with mcp.py. Okay, my agent gone wild and also use duckduck go search and some other techniques. So I modified the prompt a little bit to only use the pub mat mcp and now we can also see here some research data from the database and now let's further give the agent some time to deal with this output and come up with some final answer okay now we see here the final answer hoventia dulcius this diososor Experiamos. <laughs> so a little research shows that it's um, some kind of plant. And if we have a closer look here, particular it's fruit extract. Great. Again, something we learned. Okay. Now let's focus how we can use any MCP server out there. And this is exactly what I will show you now in the second part of this video, where we will grab a server and then set it up and also use it first with the help of the inspector from Entropic and also again in small agents. So let's imagine we have a imaginary use case where we need to convert website contents to Markdown. And the first thing that you need to do is to find the right MCP server for that use case. And you can use discovery services like Smivery AI or Glama to find the right MCP server. So in there, let's search for websites to Markdown and then here you find a lot of MCP servers that you can try out for this use case. I've prepared this video for Scrape, so I will click now in here and there we get more information about the MCP server at all. So get any website content, convert web pages into clean, I'm ready markdown, perfect. So, and also we see here the tools that are exposed by this MCP server get markdown. If I click now on this, and again, we see the parameters required for this tool call and can directly try it out if we also provide here the API key. 
Also, if we click here on API, we see how we can consume it with the help of the Smithery SDK for TypeScript and Python. But we will go with the manual way. Therefore, we visit the GitHub repository of Scrape MCP, scroll down, and then see here the manual installation. And what we need to do is to clone the repository, <coughs> then in install all the dependencies, build it, and then we have the production build ready server that we can reference. And there is all there is to set up any MCP server out there. So you need to grab it, install all the dependencies, then build it, and then you can use it from your MCP client. So let's do this. Let's grab here the GitHub URL. And then in our first agent, we clone it. I've already done this. So there, therefore I get this message. So then let's navigate into there. Remember, we need now to install everything with npm install. Then we build it, npm run build. And now if we have a closer look here in this folder, we see the node modules and the build folder. And in there we have the index.js and this is the main entry point of the MCP server. And this is what we then later need to reference on. So to set up or start the server then. Now I will show you how you can inspect and try out this MCP server with the help of the inspector. And the inspector is a free open source tool by Anthropic to play around with the server you need. And by default, the MCP servers exposes their tools, resources, prompts, and so on. And the idea with the inspector is that you have a nice UI to see what is exposed and how you can use it. So let's start the inspector. We can do this with the mpx at model context protocol slash inspector command. And then we see that the MCP server inspector is running here on localhost. So let's open up this URL. And now we need to provide here the transport type. So we use this one because this is locally. So we have the server locally. But if your server is on the remote side somewhere else, then of course you need the SSE protocol. And here you need to specify the command. So the startup command for starting the MCP server. Remember here on the small agent example, we used UVX to start the server, but now we are dealing here with our JavaScript server. Therefore we use here node. And then in arguments, we provide here the whole path to the index.js in the build folder. Okay. And then we can click here, connect. We see we are successfully connected. So what is happening here under the hood that this inspector is running this startup command, then is starting this MCP server. And then from there gives us a nice UI to see what is exposed. And we see now that, for example, no resources are exposed, no prompts are exposed, but tools are exposed. And then we can click here on list tools to see all the tools. Again, we see here the get markdown, where we then can try out this tool call by providing, for example, uh, this URL. Let me check again if this is the correct one. Yeah, maybe this one. Run tool. And then right beneath here, we see the successful output. So the whole markdown of this website. Great. But usually this should not work in the first place because on your side, because of course we first need to set up the environment variables. If we have a closer look here again on the setup part, we need to provide an API key. So make sure that you go to script.ai create your account, fetch the API key, and then we need to provide it in our environment files. So we can do this also with the inspector in a nice way. Just open up here 
environment variables, scroll down, add environment variable, then specify here scrape API key or for any other server, of course, the specific API attribute name, and then here the value. I will not do this here because I do not want to expose my API key. And yeah, but anyway, this is also a nice way to manage then here the environment variables. So this is basically all I wanted to show you with the inspector to get a better understanding of the MCP servers. And now let's move on again to the small agents part to, to use it in code. So I've prepared this example here. So what we are doing is exactly the same as before. The only thing that we also do here is to load the API key from the .inb file. And then we have again our STO server parameters. The command slightly changed to node, of course. And here in the args, we provide the whole path to the MCP server. And the environment, we also specify here the API key. And then again, from MCP, providing here the server parameters that we need, then we have it available as tool collection that we then later on give to our code agent with the tools um, array here. And now I will also run this command, this agent for us. So um, uv run agent with another mcp.py. Oh, sorry, I'm in the wrong directory, of course. So again, Great, now we see that the scrape API key is not in the env file. Let me fix this. And again. And what we also can see here <clears throat> is the executed code. So the generated code by a small agent from the code agent, the get markdowns are exactly the exposed tool. And if we then further scroll down, we see the markdown of the documentation of the debugging part of the model context protocol here in the terminal. Great, this is all there is that I wanted to share with you. Thank you for watching. And if you have any question, please put it in the comments. Then see you in the next one. You're still here? Great, man. Thank you.